Hello, I'm Lisa Strickland and welcome. Now, I don't know what's happening in your part of uh, Australia or the world today, but um, we are having an amazing, amazing day today on the Gold Coast. It is um, supposed to be actually 27 degrees. Now, we are currently in the middle of winter. So for me, that is amazing and why I have such a brilliant smile on my face because I'm not uh, very fond of the cold. So I'm really enjoying our most beautiful, beautiful day. So today I've come to have a chat about five daily tips that you can use to assist you with your autoimmune or chronic illness. Now, you know, we're all dealing with so much in regards to understanding how our body works and how we can assist ourselves with our chronic illnesses. And looking at a few simple tips that you can think about as you go through your day and incorporate them over time into your daily plan. Okay, so number one is to eat more fruits and vegetables and greens. So you've, you've got you know, all your different greens, your kales, your spinaches, your lettuces. Um, you've got things like lots of uh, sweet potatoes and beans are great for you. So really incorporating as much as you can into your diet. Now, if you are actually eating, because during winter we do tend to eat a lot more foods that are cooked, try and have a, some sort of a salad. So if you're having a curry, have some tomatoes and onions or just making some sort of a salad that sits to the side. And then you are also getting that raw component into your diet. And that is really important. It's great for your digestion as well. And it just gives you that extra boost of more vitamins and minerals and more greens. You know, just wonderful to get the, all those things into you. Now, number two is to eat more whole fruits and not fruit juices. So try and stay away from fruit juices. The only way that I can think of that you would look at that sort of thing would be if you have a Nutribullet or a blender that you like to actually say within your smoothies, put a piece of carrot and a piece of uh, apple and the whole fruit, parts of the whole fruit and blend it all up. It will be thicker but the fiber is what stops your blood sugars from raising. So really, really think about that and try and avoid uh, fruit juices because fruit juices will really kick your inflammation. It will start it and, and um, because of the sugar content in it, it will give it a little bit more of a kick and you don't really want to get your blood, uh, your blood sugars and your inflammation in your body rising too high, okay? So we're, we're looking at bringing that down. So if you can eat the whole fruit, then you're getting the fiber and you're getting the sugar together. And so you don't have those sugar peaks, which are what gonna cause inflammation in your body. Okay, so number three, eat regularly. Now, I know sometimes we get really, really hungry in between meals um, or, you know, you don't eat for a while, you forget to have breakfast because you're running out of the house and that sort of thing. Try and make sure that you eat regularly. Really, really important, okay? And take some things with you. Really important to make sure that you keep those blood sugar levels stable. So no, no having you know six and seven hours between meals where you're absolutely starving, really, really bad for your blood sugar levels and bad for your inflammation. So we're trying to keep that inflammation down as much as possible. So for us to take control of what we are doing is really, really important. Now taking snacks wherever you go is really important to do. So if you take your snacks, make some bliss balls, make some cash, uh, take some cashews, some nuts, anything like that, just take them in your handbag. I also do like corn cakes or rice cakes with a bit of peanut butter on them. Anything that you know that you're going out for the day, you know, so that if you don't get to get to eat, then you have got something there that you can snack on. Now, number five is having an Epsom salts bath. Now, Epsom salts baths or foot baths, really important to assist us with our stress levels. 
and something that's really good for you to do on a daily basis. Now, if you can't get in the bath, that's fine. Have a foot bath. Just put a couple of tablespoons of Epsom salt in there and pop your feet in there. Now, you draw all the toxins from your feet, right? At the base of your feet is where all your toxins come out at night time. So really, if you're putting in that Epsom salt and you're putting your feet in it, you're gaining all that magnesium and really boosting your system up. And it can make such a difference in your mood and how you're feeling. And it will bring your stress levels down and your body relaxed so that you can sleep as well. So really good thing to do after a really hard day of, you know, just being as we are. We're always running and being in such a hurry all the time to get done what we need to do in our days. So taking that time, it's also, you know, a little bit of self-care and looking after you, which is really, really important because it's something that we tend to forget to do. Now, you know, these are the five things that are really something that you can incorporate into your daily life and some things that will help. Now, it does take a little while to get into the habit of doing these things, but once you start to do them, you will see a very big difference. So thank you for listening. I'm Lisa Strickland. And my question to you is, how are you going to help your body today?